Surprising Sharks by Nicola Davies, illustrated by James Croft. You're swimming in the warm blue sea. What's the one word that turns your dream into a nightmare? What's the one word that makes you think of a giant man-eating killer? Shark. Shark? Yes, it's a shark. It's a dwarf lantern shark. It's the smallest kind of shark in the world. Just bigger than a chocolate bar. Not a giant. Certainly no man eater. And a killer only if you happen to be a shrimp. You see, most sharks are not at all what you might expect. After all, who would expect a shark to have built-in fairy lights or blow up like a party balloon? Like all lantern sharks, this black belly lantern shark has light-making organs on its tummy. They help it to blend in with the silvery surface of the sea and avoid ending up as dinner for bigger fish. Swell sharks swallow water when they get scared. They blow up to three times their normal size so that they stick fast between rocks. Then no predator can pull them out. Or sharks can also lie on the seafloor like a scrap of old carpet. This Australian shark called a wabagong is patterned has patterned skin that matches the rocks and coral on the sea floor, so it can sneak up on shellfish, crabs, and small fish without being seen. Or, have you seen a shark that looks like tools from a monster's toolkit? Hammerhead sharks have eyes and nostrils on the ends of their hammers. They help to pinpoint the scent of prey and give them all around vision. Saw sharks use their swords to root out fish hidden in sand and mud, then grab them with needle sharp teeth. In fact, sharks come in all sorts of shapes and sizes. We see the blue shark, the cookie cutter shark, the nurse shark, the angel shark, and the goblin shark. How can such different animals all be sharks? Look carefully and you'll see all of the things that they share. This page shows us what they share on the outside. They have skin that is as tough and scratchy as sandpaper. A shark's skin is covered with tiny tooth-like scales that help it to be hard wearing. They all have dorsal fins, tails, pelvic fins, pectoral fins, and gill slits. Gill slits are for breathing water. Inside the gill slits, there is a very thin layer of skin that lets oxygen from the water get into the shark's blood, just as our lungs let oxygen from the air into our blood when we breathe. Back to their fins, a shark's tail fins are bigger at the top than at the bottom. Unlike other fish tails, their tails push them through the water and the fins help them to swim left or right, up or down. What all sharks have in common on the inside are things like their jaws. They have jaws that can pop out through the mouth like a jack-in-the-box. Sharks jaws aren't part of their heads as ours are. Instead, they, help, they are held on by a kind of living rubber band, so the jaws can shoot forward fast to grab prey. Sharks have rows and rows of spare teeth, 
so that the shark is never without its bite. A shark can have up to 3,000 teeth, all in rows, one behind the other. As one tooth wears out, the one behind moves forward to replace it. So sharks always have shark teeth and use more than 20,000 in their lifetime. All sharks also have a bendy, boneless skeleton that helps it to not sink. Shark skeletons are made of the tough kind of stuff that makes your ears and the end of your nose. Cartilage. It floats in the water like a rubber ball. But it isn't the basic body plan that makes sharks sharks. It's the sharkish way they behave. Sharks are always hungry and they're always on the lookout for their next meal. Some even start killing before they're born. For example, sand tiger sharks give birth to only two live young, which is all that's left after the other six babies have been eaten in the mother's belly. Yikes. Some sharks lay eggs and some give birth to live young. But all baby sharks are just like their parents, with sharp teeth and the ability to hunt right from the start. Dogfish lay eggs called mermaid's purses. They have strings that tangle in the weeds to keep them safe in storms. Port Jackson sharks lay eggs like a corkscrew. They stick fast in the rock crevices. Shark senses are fine-tuned, ready for the tiniest hint that might mean food. To a hungry shark, the faintest trail of clues is as clear as a restaurant sign. Sharks have tiny holes to let sound into their inner ears. They can hear sounds that are too low for our ears to pick up. Sharks have eyes that are on the sides of their heads so they can see almost as well behind them as they can in front. The whole of a shark's skin is sensitive in the same way that your fingertips are. You can tell hot from cold, rough from smooth, moving from still. A shark can also get all sorts of information from the movement and temperature of the water all around its body. A shark's nostrils are just under the tip of its snout. Water flows into them as the shark moves forward, bringing any sense with it. Gel-filled pits in a shark's nose can detect food. Every animal has nerves, which are like cables carrying electrical messages around the body. The shark's gel pits can sense this electricity. Did you know that every year people kill 100 million sharks? And we are the ones that are so scared of them. They can be killed for things like shark teeth necklaces, machine grease, cattle field, shark skin wallets, fertilizer, shark fin soup, shark skin shoes, aftershave, skin cream, and fish and chips. If you were a shark swimming in the lovely blue sea, the last word you'd want to hear would be human. The end.